we are going to talk about shape. So there are different categories of shape. The two we are going to talk about today are geometric shapes and organic shapes. Now, geometric shapes are the ones that we typically talk about in when we do art. Geometric shapes are things like trapezoids, triangles, rectangles, squares, pretend this is a perfect circle, and hexagons. They're the types of shapes that you will probably find and talk about in math class frequently, or you will see that are man-made, where it is perfectly cut the shape of a circle or a square. We are going to be talking about organic shapes today though. Organic shapes are a little bit different. Organic shapes are the types of shapes that you would see in nature. So I have a shrub that's kind of shaped about like this if you just look at the outline of it. It just grows that way up in, into a point. It's not perfect though. Um, you might see something like a pond or a lake from above might have a shape like this or even like this. Some other things in nature will have sh similar shapes to that as well. This will look very much like maybe a stone, although I've seen some stones that are nearly a perfect circle. I have one here that's not. So I know this is three-dimensional, but if you just look at the outline of it, the same with this here isn't going to be a perfect oval. Um, this I have another stone that's shaped kind of like this so it's almost like a triangle but it's curved and it's not equal on all sides not that triangles have to be and then so here you might have kind of a crazy shape around the outside so if i took this and i went around the outside and i traced this shape this is the type of shape i'm going to get so something like that would be an organic shape leaves these are all examples of organic shapes. So we are mostly going to talk about organic shapes today. So just start thinking about how shapes can, organic shapes don't have to be the perfect shapes of a geometric shape, but they can have some imperfections, if you will, in them. And that's what makes them great.